Well, hello. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with the play, Twelfth Night, uh, I thought it'd be useful to give you just a little bit of a background to this speech uh, of Malvolio's. Now, Malvolio is the Countess Olivia's steward. He's an, an arrogant and narcissistic man. He's full of self-love and, and believes he has the charm to win Olivia's hand. Uh, he is loathed by the other members of Olivia's household. Those are Sir Toby Belch, her cousin Sir Andrew Aguecheek, who also has designs on Olivia, and Olivia's maid, Maria. These three plot to trap and embarrass Malvolio and write a letter purporting to come from Olivia that declares her hidden love for him, for Malvolio. They leave the letter in the garden where Malvolio is walking. Oh, what employment have we here? Oh, by my life, this is my lady's hand. These be her very C's, her U's and her T's, and, and, and thus makes she her great P's. Ah, oh, it is in contempt of question, her hand. <laughs> to the unknown beloved, this and my good wishes. Her very phrases. <laughs> By your leave, wax. Oh, soft. And the impressure her Lucretia, which she uses to seal. Oh, Tis my lady to... To whom should this be? Jove knows I love, but who? Lips do not move, no man must know. No man must know. What follows? The number's altered. No man must know. If this should be thee, Malvolio... <laughs> I may command where I adore, but silence like a Lucretia knife, with bloodless stroke my heart doth gore, M-O-A-I doth sway my life. M-O-A-I doth sway my life. Nay, 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 but first let me see, let me, let me see, let me see. I may command where I adore. Why, she may command me. I serve her, she is my lady. <laughs> this is evident in any formal capacity, there's no obstruction in this. And the end, what should that alphabetical position portend? If I could make that resemble something in me, softly, M-O-A-I, M, -O -A -I. M. oh, Malvolio, M, why, that begins my name, yes, M, M. <laughs> Uh, but there's no consonancy in the sequel that suffers under probation. A should follow, but O does, and then I comes behind. M-O-A-I. This simulation is not as the former. And yet to crush this a little, it would bow to me, for every one of these letters are in my name. Now, yeah, soft. Here follows prose. Mm. If this fall into thy hand, revolve. Mm. In my stars I am above thee, but be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Thy fates open their hands. Let thy blood and spirit embrace them, and to inure thyself to what thou art like to be, cast thy humble slough. And appear fresh. <laughs> Be opposite with a kinsman, surly with servants. Let thy tongue tang arguments of state. Put thyself into the trick of singularity. She thus advises thee that sighs for thee. <gasps> Remember who commended thy yellow stockings. Oh! <laughs> and wished to see thee ever cross-garted. I say, remember, go to, thou art made, if thou desirest to be so. If not, let me see thee as steward still. 
the fellow of servants, and not worthy to touch fortune's fingers. Farewell, she that would alter services with thee, the fortunate unhappy. Oh, oh, daylight and champagne discovers not more. Why, this is open. I, I will be proud. I will read politic authors. I will baffle Sir Toby. I will wash off gross acquaintance. I will be point devise the very man. <laughs> I, I do not now fool myself to let imagination jade me, for every reason excites to this that, that my lady loves me. No, she did, she did, she did, she did. She did commend my yellow stockings of late. She did praise my leg being cross-gartered, and in this she manifests herself to my love with, with a kind of injunction, drives me to these habits of her liking. I thank my stars I am happy. <laughs> oh, I will be strange, stout, in yellow stockings and cross-garted even with the swiftness of putting on. Jove and my stars be praised. Uh, oh, here is yet a postscript. Thou canst not choose but know who I am. If thou entertainest my love, let it appear in thy smiling. Thy smiles become thee well. Therefore in my presence still smile, dear my sweet, I prithee, Jove, I thank thee, I will smile, I will do everything that thou wilt have me. <laughs>